Hi everybody, Adam here from Soundtrap, and welcome back to Tip of the Week number three. Now, we released a new feature that a lot of you guys have been asking for, which is the reverse feature. So what it does is basically just playing your audio in reverse. And I figured, for those of you that don't know how to use it, or maybe you just need a little bit more inspiration, check this out. So I preloaded the grand piano right here, and I hooked up my MIDI keyboard to the computer. So all I'm going to do is record something really simple. Let me show you. Simple enough. Just a chord. Now what I want to do is go in here and find your effects right here. And then add something, what I was thinking, maybe some room. Changing that to church and then upping that pretty much. And what we have now is this. Simple enough, right? All right, so this is gonna be a really cool thing with the reverse feature that I'm gonna show you now. So, if we export this track as audio, what you're gonna get is a grand piano audio right here. So, what you wanna do now is just import your file, the one we just exported with the grand piano. Now, we can go on and delete this grand piano edit it a bit and now when you go in on edit here you can choose reverse so do that and now it sounds like this simple but it's not the only thing you can use this reverse feature for all right so let's just load a loop right now i'm going for this one 80k upright now let's listen to it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. All right, cool. Now let's go and reverse this as well. And it gives this pretty cool sound. Right? So let's just line this one up and use it as a build up. And then, let's just add some drums. There we go. And as simple as that, we have a pretty cool start of a song. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a really cool feature that I think a lot of you guys are gonna appreciate. My name is Adam. This is the tip of the week from Soundtrap. Hope you guys enjoy, and I see you in the next one. Take care now. Peace. <laughs>